Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a fun one here. Jaspies Hit Parade Collab. It's a high-end multi-sport, a nine box mixer, random team break number three. Uh, thanks for getting in on it. Uh, it's gonna be a 30 spot break. Everyone's gonna get an NFL team with some of the combos right there, an NBA team and a, and a baseball team. Football, baseball, basketball. Uh, a lot of great stuff here too. And remember, our college rules or no checklist rules, whatever you wanna call it, applies in this break because like we got a baseball bat, right? Unless the team is stamped on there, right? Most likely it's not. Let's say if it's an active player, it'll go to the team they're currently on. If it's a retired player, you know, we'll go by baseballreference.com and see what team they played for the longest and we'll use the next column over on those stats uh, to be tiebreaker. Same with basketball and the football helmet. And the, there may be jerseys and eight by 10 photo. So all that sort of stuff. I mean, the eight by 10 photos, they'll be in their uniform, hopefully. If not, then we'll use those rules as well. well. We'll cross the bridge when we get there, but that's the rule we're gonna use. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. We only ended up doing one filler, which was really awesome. So thank you. The next, the next ones are loaded up already if you wanna run this back. Congrats again to the people who got into the filler and won spots. So there are the football teams right there, plus the combos. All the baseball teams are in, all 30 basketball teams are in. One dice roll for all the lists, and it's gonna be five and a six, 11 times each. One, ram.org making me work. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleventh and final time. So after eleven, we got Nick Stober down to Eugene. And so we'll put the names in the first column for the football, baseball, and basketball section. Now let's go back to football. We'll go five and a six, eleven times for the teams. Football teams first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleventh and final time. Chiefs down to Niners. There's Chiefs down to Niners. All right, so I'm going, to show, I'm going to show you the list as is, and then I'll show you the list alphabetically as well. So there's everyone right there. And then there's the second half of the list right here. So you can see Eugene with the Niners right there, and then I'm going to alf alphabetize by team. And you can still see Eugene with the Niners right down there. So again, here's the first half of the list. and the second half of the list. Five and a six, 11 times for the basketball teams, or baseball teams. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11th and final time. After 11, we got Nats down to Rays. All right, there's the first half of the list. There's the second half of the list. Nick with Last Ball Mojo has the Cubs, who fell to the Cardinals just a few moments ago in Sunday Night Baseball. Now let's alphabetize. You can still see Nick with the Cubs. There's the first half of the list. Second half of the list. If you're watching live and you and if this text is a little small, you need me to call out your name and teams. I will definitely do so for you. Just, just, just there are a lot of names and teams. I'm trying to be a little more efficient on this video here. So five and a six, 11 times for the basketball teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11th and final time. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. There's the Raptors down to the Rockets. You know, obviously, if you're watching the replay of this, you can Definitely, hopefully you've already just fast forwarded through this part. All right, so there's the first half of the list. Second half of the list, Nick has the Chicago Bulls. Uh, Nick Stover 
is a Chicago sports fan, so it's kind of cool that he's got his hometown teams there. All right. There's the first half of the list alphabet alphabetized, second half of the list right here. Great. Now, I'm going to pause the video. If you want to trade, you can only trade within, you can't trade the Atlanta Hawks for the Atlanta Falcons, for example. It all has to be within within the league to just make it a lot, lot easier. So, um, so there you go. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. So stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right. Welcome back, everybody. There was a deal done. Jimmy and Chad working a deal. Chad is out of the Mariner spot and into the Royal spot. We'll put a T there for trade. Jimmy is out of the Royal spot and into the Mariners spot. T for trade. All right, now let's print out the lists and let's break. Now I'll show you the lists again in just a moment. So here are the final printouts. So here on a Sunday, mixer number three. Number four is loaded up. Here are the football teams. Here are the baseball teams. You can see the T for trade right there. Officially printed out. Makes it official. And here are the uh, NBA teams. Thanks for spending a bit of your Memorial Day weekend with me, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you. Does everyone have days off tomorrow? I don't. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do the cards first. So a couple of these football boxes, a couple of the baseball boxes, then we'll get into the live memorabilia, which I'm, which I'm personally excited about. We don't, we don't see the live memorabilia too often, so if you enjoy adding something a little different to your collection, and uh, oh, Chad's off till Wednesday. Nice. Ooh. Kaboom! Matthew Stafford. That's awesome. Uh, Rams, that's going to be... That's going to be John. Nice, there you go, John. Nice start. Football card is is for the New York Jets. Brees Hall RPA from NT. Seventeen out of ninety nine. That's Adam who got randomized his Jets. There you go, Adam. He's on the East Coast. We might be asleep. Good morning, Adam. Here's your hit. All right, now let's go into high end baseball. Click over to the baseball section. We've got another nine box hit parade mixer in the store right now. Might be able to get another one done tomorrow. Ooh, we've got a graded card here. We've got a PSA. And it is Fernando Tatis Jr. PSA 9. Look at that patch. It's pretty awesome. Is that infield dirt right there? It's not part of the design. It's pretty cool. 
2022 Topps Definitive. You got the patch, you got the auto. It's one out of 10. Awesome. Padres, that'll be for, that's for Adam. Adam Coverman. Good morning, Adam. AK. All right, and then after this, we'll go into the memorabilia. We'll stick with baseball. We'll do that triple play box. That's right up there. Right, not graded, but what do we have here? Anthony Volpe, very nice. Rookie auto Anthony Volpe from Topps Chrome Black. 46 out of 50. Matthew, Matthew S. with the Yankees. Awesome. Good start there. All right, now triple play. Autograph triple play edition. I forget what's, I forget what's in here. Jersey. Card and eight by ten. And don't forget about our. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with our college or no checklist rules. But we got cert certificates of authenticities right here. Nice. I like that they, that they do that. It's like, hey, it could be either that, 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 or that. That's what they all look like. Thanks, Hip Hooray. All right, I'm just going to grab the first thing that I feel here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a jersey. And it's going to be... Guess that auto. Whose auto is that? This is an Angels uniform? Oh, yeah, I know. They've got it written right here. It's Noah Syndergaard. I think they should go back to the Majestic Nike uniforms. It means this is, what's nice about these is that they're officially licensed. Angels, that's gonna be Joe Downing with the Halos. It's Syndergaard, but an officially licensed jersey is it's not, it's not never never a bad thing. All right, we'll we'll tag all of those properly after the break. What else is here? Oh, we got a triple autograph. That's a randomizer. We got Hoyt Wilhelm. We got Enos Slaughter and Sweet Lou Brock. That's awesome. Two Cardinals and Hoyt Wilhelm has, is he a giant? A New York giant? Because he has NY on his hat. Yeah, a New York giant from 1952 to 1956. You can see the New York on his hat right there. Kind of hard to see, but it's there. So that, that'll be, and you got the JSA right here. So that's going to be a randomizer. We'll put on the randomizer, Cardinals will be there twice, and San Francisco Giants will be there once. Gonna keep track of a lot of things here. Okay, what's the third thing? Oh, there it is. And empty box. The third thing is a... Autograph baseball from Hit Parade. Again, unless like the team is like stamped on there or something like that, you know, or if there's something that identifies, like let's say it's a player that played for multiple teams, but the stamp on it is like 1984 All-Star Game, right? It'll go to the team that he was on for that particular All-Star Game. If there's no team stamp marker, we'll just go by our no checklist rules as we as we usually do. 
I think this is a active player. Oh, black baseball. That's a. I think that's too common. I don't know which way this goes. Anyone? I think it's this way. Any guesses on that auto? There's your Fanatics sticker, your MLB hologram sticker right there as well. Anyone have any guesses on that? No, it's Lucas Giolito. And Lucas Giolito is currently uh, he signed with the Red Sox. January 3rd, 2024, signed a one-year deal with the Red Sox. Although I think he's out for the whole season now, but that's the team he's currently on. So that's going to go to Judson with the Red Sox. All right, now let's go. Let's go three P basketball. I think this might be a full size basketball and a couple other things. So I'm going to open it right over here. Certificate of Authenticity stuff. And these are in pouches, or at least the yeah, full-size basketball is in a pouch. Let's do the photo first. And for the Rockets, Steve Francis. Stevie Franchise, Rockets Edition. Silver Ink Autograph, that's going to go to Eugene in Houston. Put this, put this back into that box. A second here. And then the jersey. Is clearly the Knicks, but anyone know that autograph? Or Nick's number five. Nick's is also Eugene. Got all the hologram stickers there as well. If you're playing at home, if you're watching the replay, you're yelling at the screen. It's a it's a manual quickly. Knicks edition. Looks like it's a custom jersey, so I'm just going to leave it in the bag. I mean, it's not licensed. It just has the colors and won't have all the other logos and stuff like that. All right, the basketball. Right, Rex certainly got it but he was lagging behind. You're lagging, Rex. No, you didn't call it. Rex. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, that's two different autographs, by the way. Depends 
Any guesses? It did look like an old jersey. I thought it was going to be an older player for a second. All right, I know one player. I don't know the other player. Oh, this player is is currently on the same team as the other player. All right, one one is a pretty good player. I I don't know the other player very well. Um, they're but they're both Raptors though. One of the autographs is Grady Dick, the thirteenth overall pick. And the other is Chris Busher, who was uh, who was who came out in the 2017. It's with the Raptors now, basically. He's a two-time NBA champion, by the way, with the uh, Warriors, and then the and then the Raptors the next year. Lucky Duck. Um, If you look right here in the box, they'll put, I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's Grady Dick and Chris Buescher. I don't think this basketball is game used, right? They're not using pro track indoor outdoor basketballs, right? But th there's there's the there's that right there. Unless I mean I don't know, maybe Grady Dick and his his teammate played basketball with it before autographing it. Possible. A little one on one action. Now let's go with another basketball. Oh, just use it. You know what? Maybe. Maybe they just picked up a random basketball and they're like, oh, look, guys, let's use this one. Um, Toronto, by the way, is going to be for Nick Stober. There you go, Nick. You've got the Raptors. And another autographed basketball. And you can see there's the series number right there. Certificate of Authenticity card. This one also inside a little pouch a little uh, drawstring bag Oh, the team logo's there. That's gonna be pretty obvious. Oh, and he's got a pretty pretty clean penmanship too. It's a cool looking basketball. Some Celtics fan is really gonna love this. Um, that's gonna be who's got Boston. Ryan Heinz has the Celtics, obviously. Right? Everyone say it. It's kind of a cool basketball here too. The Wilson logo show you in the lighting is also green. It's 
So nice Kevin McHale, you got all the authenticity stickers and stuff right there. So there you go, Ryan. All right, uh, full size helmet. So this includes, I'm going to try to cover the code here, but this includes this, which usually means it's a, it's a bigger hit than usual. Wow. We'll send you this little thing along with it too. Uh, I think this one is worth playing America's favorite game, Who Am I? Oh, this is heavy too. Is this a officially licensed helmet? It says all authentic. It's heavier than the ones I usually, than the ones we usually do. Guys, this is a giant hit. There's two players on here. Uh, let's let's talk about the first player. It's all one team as well. Let's talk about the first player. First round pick in 1998 was an NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, an NFL Comeback Player of the Year, a four-time First Team All-Pro. Six-time Pro Bowler, part of the NFL 2000's All-Decade team. Ended up with 982 receptions, 15,292 receiving yards, 156 touchdowns. Pro Football Hall of Famer. Who is this receiver? Yep, Chad's got it. Randy Moss. I was, the next clue is going to be Marshall, and I think that would have given it away. <laughs> All right. The second player on here... Um, is a former sixth round pick in 2000. Yeah, everyone's going to know this. Played for two teams my entire career, a seven-time Super Bowl champion, a five-time Super Bowl MVP, a three-time NFL Most Valuable Player, a two-time NFL Offensive Player of the Year, three-time first-team All-Pro, 15-time 15 15 Pro Bowler, five-time NFL Passing Touchdowns Leader, five-time NFL Passing uh, yeah, passing touchdowns leader, four-time NFL passing yards leader, a two-time NFL passer raider leader, if you like passer rating, a uh, bunch of all-decade teams, NFL records, quarterback wins, 251, passing completion, 7,753, uh, passing touchdowns, 649, career passing yards, 89,214, passing completions in a season, 490, longest touchdown pass, tied with a bunch of people at 99, longest Career playoff quarterback wins, 35. Career playoff passing yards, 13,400. Career playoff passing touchdowns, 88. <laughs> Ended up with 649 touchdowns to 212 interceptions. Lifetime passer rating of 97.2. You guys guessed it. Tom Brady, Randy Moss, dual autograph. A sell sheet hit.
I like I like this old school uh, Patriot helmet here as well. That is Jimmy Connell and the New England Patriots. How awesome is that? You, you even got like little stickers right there of Randy Moss and Tom Brady. There's all the authentication right there as well. I'll try to get you a nice little 360 view here. I should have done the baseball bat first. Is this an official helmet? Yeah, I'm gonna lean it back this way. I mean, it's all, it's a lot heavier than the other, than, than like the, the replica helmets. That is awesome. Congrats, Jimmy. I know you've, you've supported Jaspies for many years. Been in many breaks over the many years. This has got to be one of the best things I've ever pulled you, or that Jaspies has ever pulled you. Congrats. I'll put it all back there carefully once the break is over. All right. Hey, you're welcome, Jimmy. You get into a lot of our breaks. Some good, some not good. I know you have a good time here, but it just in terms of just wow factor, that, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Let's see if I can get this baseball bat open here. It's like opening a, a paint can here. Right, is this player still active? Oh, it's a very new bat. Definitely, definitely not, definitely not a gamer. I'm gonna cover up his name. Any guesses on this? It's really light. This is definitely not. Not Ellie De La Cruz, does start with an E though. Uses a uh, custom model ER20S Pro Reserve Maple. If, uh, if you're familiar with, uh, familiar with bats, let me look this guy up here. Um, he is currently active on a baseball team. What's he doing this season? Over 130 at bats, he's only batting 177. Got seven homers though, 18 RBI, seven stolen bases, an OPS of 611. A war a little under zero, minus uh, 0 0.2. And this guy at one point was, was gonna be a real stud, I thought. 
But then when he was with his previous team, I think he had vision issues. They had to correct his vision, I want to say. Like, it's like, bro, you need glasses, contacts or something. And then some injuries here and there, and I think it's just hasn't quite worked. I think. Yeah, apparently had issues with his right eye. And he's a he's a, a lefty, so that right eye is his front eye. It's kind of kind of important, <laughs> kind of an important eye. It's not Ellie Dela Cruz. It's um. Anyone want to venture another guess? You got all the the hologram sticker on the uh, on the bat knob. You got Fanatics hologram card inside the bag and everything. He's active. He's with the Nationals now. He was with the Braves. Braves eye issue. No. He's with the Nats now. Was with the Braves. Nick Stober as the Nationals. It's uh, Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. Yeah, he had that weird eye issue. I don't know if he's ever really, uh, if he's really gotten there. No, active player, Nick. Here's the reveal. Eddie Rosario. It's a nice looking bat too. So oh, pretty awesome stuff. And there you have it, Nick Stober with that one. And that's that, my friends. Really nice break. Let's do a randomizer. Let's make someone happy. Let's make someone sad. So that's Hoyt Wilhelm in his uh, New York Giants gear. And then we got two Cardinals. So obviously the Cardinals have the odds on their side. But there's no majority rules. We don't do that. Never have. Um, let's roll it. Randomize it. Five and a one. Six times. So team on top after six. We'll get it. We'll get the eight by ten triple auto. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And the Giants defy the odds. So apologies to uh, to Nick to Nick L. Sorry, man. But um, New York uh, San Francisco Giants Jimmy with the San Francisco Giants. Congrats to you. What a break for you. You got the triple auto as well. So uh, Lou Brock, Enos Slaughter. Obviously, I think Lou Brock would probably be the be the uh, the 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 coolest one there. There's Hoyt Wilhelm right there. You got the, the JSA card right back here as well. There you go, gang. That, that was really fun. We got another set of this in the store right now on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.